Hey guys, today I would like to share with you one of my newest favorite websites. Now, back in the day, if you wanted to upload just a little bit of a website uh, onto the internet, many of you would look to a website known as GeoCities uh, to do so. Uh, GeoCities was at one point owned by Yahoo, when Yahoo looked like it was going to be one of the big tech giants. And uh, it was really good because not only did it give you the standard offering of tools that you do tend to get from like website creating websites, but it also allowed you to upload um, files directly, which is how I got into learning how to code HTML and CSS is just by this little free service that Yahoo ran called GeoCities where you could just upload a couple of HTML files, uh, a couple of images, and then just put together your own website. So you could do it with a what you see is what you get editor. But what a lot of us really quite enjoyed was using it as a platform to learn how to code HTML and CSS and all those little bits. Now, it's been a while since we've heard from GeoCities. It is unfortunately no longer with us. However, there is an even better phoenix that rose from those particular ashes known as NeoCities, neocities.org. It is a place where you can create a website of your very own using HTML code and, uh, and, and, and the actual you know raw data of websites behind them because as I'm sure many of us all are already vividly aware the internet is incredibly slow right now. The average website is something like four megabytes in size and requires a ton of RAM to uh, display expediently and correctly. And it doesn't need to be like this. It puts a lot of burden on the um, on the infrastructure of the internet. It um, it it, it uh, makes it difficult for people with slower internet connections or people in countries where their internet infrastructure is not very good to to you know um, to use your website or to use websites in general. And I'm massively in favour of this rather small and modest movement to try and get the internet to be. A little bit lighter on its feet and just try and reduce some of the workload that we put all of our infrastructure under because a website doesn't need to be complicated it's a text file with a little bit of context that's really what it is so i completely love neocities because it allows those of us that know html coding which to be honest it's not complicated it's really not much more complicated than markdown if all you want to do is a simple website and i'm going to show you a website that i spent some time on today this is based on a video I did some time ago, how to get RSS URLs from YouTube channels and playlists, because uh, it actually took me quite some time to actually work out how to get an RSS feed specifically from a YouTube URL playlist. Now, the video is available on this channel if you so wish to watch it. It's only a couple of videos ago. This is a website that basically is the text version of that video. So if people who are searching for it, um, that, that you know, they, they can also find it here as well. And I was just uh, putting this website together to try out what NeoCities free options were, because you can be a supporter, you can just use a free option. The free option gives you, as you can see, a, a URL, which is actually a pretty decent URL. I've chosen YouTube RSS.NeoCities.org, but of course you can choose what you want. And if you use their premium tier, you can actually use your own um, domains. So this is my website. It's very, very, very bare bones um, because that's kind of how I feel website should be. This website, I mean, if I just press F5 now, it's just going to load up like, I mean, you didn't even see it, you know, uh, phase through. It is the lightest, nimblest website you can imagine, and it tells you what you need there and then. Um, and I've even put the important parts in bold because, you know, I'm kind of like that. Um, so yeah, Nice little website, even got a little uh, graphic there, which, which gives you uh, an example of what a playlist ID is. And I've, of course, included the alt text as well. This is what your dashboard looks like. So it just gives you like a, a folder and then you just pop in your uh, your files. And so I've got my URL file there, which is just the, uh, the example image. I've got a not found URL. So that's what happens when someone, you know, commits a 404 offense, as it were. Uh, and that's if you know so if they go to um uh, a broken link or a website that uh or or a page on your website that doesn't quite work that's the uh the 404 website that they'll find it's just a basic not found site uh page and then there's index.html which is your home page and that's how you you know select which uh, file is your home page it's just the one that's called index.html it's a great little service here very easy to use very user friendly very fast and that's what i quite like about it but um, and this is, of course, this is the text 
from my uh, from my little example website there. It really look at you know, and I didn't bother to indent it because it's just a small little website. I put, you know, put it together in in half an hour or so. But um, that's you know, that's that's really what the the bare bones of the the website is. Plus the uh, YouTube dash playlist dash URL dot jpg, which is the little image that goes with it. Everything else, it's just all in that text file. It, it's it's you know, forty seven lines long. That's all it is. So. It's excellent, and then it uh, yeah, it looks just like that. You can of course yeah, you know, spruce it up a lot more. You can spruce it up beyond belief, but um, I just wanted basically the most basic, most functional, most utilitarian website you can get, and this is pretty much it. And in fact, if you go to the uh, view page source, which you can do in Firefox and, and Google Chrome, uh, you can actually see that it doesn't add or remove anything from the code. It doesn't alter the code at all. It's the exact file as you wrote it. So uh, that's pretty cool. But that's not even the best bit, right? NeoCities seems to be designed very much for the uh, for the situation that I sort of outlined uh, to you guys today. In fact, if you go to the about page on neocities.org, You'll actually see that uh, the, some of their uh, some of their aims and goals, objectives and values, um, helping the web. You want know, to empower people to develop independent creative sites, and that's quite useful too because um, you know you're not then reliant on certain pieces of software, and, and uh, you know you can actually craft the website yourself. You know the code itself. You know how it works and how it's put together. And admittedly, this isn't entirely useful if you need to develop a website among a group of people. Then something like WordPress makes a little bit more sense. But if you just want a basic page. Um, yeah, it's like develop independent creative sites just using the code itself allows for a speedier internet and a, and a more stable and sort of sim a simpler internet. And it doesn't rely on these huge JavaScript libraries and frameworks and all this kind of stuff that even basic websites seem to be employing today. I like that it's free and that they give a free option, but NeoCities believe in open source software. This is all built on open source software. This is and that's that's really what I think some of the best you know one of the best features of neocities.org is the fact that um, this approaches that very sort of sizable issue of of large and slow to load websites with an open source solution and that's absolutely fantastic and that's what this channel is all about and that's why I have made this video today. Uh, they also have a few other like features like the anti-lock-in and and, um, and their sustainability growth prin principles, which are also particularly important, especially with smaller um, sort of tech companies and, and organizations and groups as well, because sustainability is what really is, you know, and, and an eye for sustainability is really what's going to keep you afloat there. But yeah, it's an open source platform that lets you get back to the basics of building a website. Of course, it'll most likely look a little bit nicer than this, but at the end of the day, you don't need fancy JavaScript layout frameworks and um, and and four megabyte web pages in order just to display a basic piece of information. It's really just this simple, and I'm glad NeoCities uh, .org sort of uh, recognizes the problem and have developed like a really elegant solution, if you ask me. So, um, yeah, definitely check it out. You can upgrade to being a supporter, and being a supporter, it's only five dollars a month. So, uh, you know, if I was developing anything of a, a more serious website, um, I would definitely look to uh, to neocities.org now because, you know, if I just wanted to pop up something myself that was just a basic, um, you know, HTML, a couple of HTML files and images, uh, and it would give me the option to, uh, you know, back up stuff. Because you can. Uh, if you go into the uh, the dashboard, uh, you do get the option. Uh, it says that right here, download entire site just as a as a dot zip now it gives you one gigabyte as well off the uh, out of the gate which is a lot really you don't need one gig i've used 14.63 kilobytes for my little website admittedly most websites would probably be a little bit bigger and one gig is really more for your assets than it is for your uh, text but you know i think one gigabyte is quite generous but they give you 50 and three uh three gigabyte is it three uh, three thousand gigabyte bandwidth? So, uh, yeah, they, they give you quite a lot for free, but they also give you a fair amount as a supporter. So, and then it gives you uh, quite a lot of options there. So it gives you quite a lot for free, but it also gives you uh, a fair number of premium op premium options, including things like custom domain um, SSL certificates, custom domains, uh, web dev uploading, basic email support, all that kind of stuff. So. So I think I'm going to wrap it up about there. Thank you very much for watching. But if you are thinking of putting together a website and would like to support the open source community, 
give neocities.org a look. It might be what you're looking for. So that's about it for me today. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, I've been Chris Ware and you've been awesome. Take care now.